What's up, boxing fans? So, let's talk about this whole everything about Canelo. There's literally every single video on Twitter speculating what is his next move. And it's literally any anything about he's leaving PBC. Uh, his next fight is uh, Jamal Charlo. It could be Munguia. Nothing about Benavides whatsoever. And that is what pisses me off, honestly, <clears throat> as a boxing fan. I'm not a casual fan. I'm a boxing fan. I, sp you know, I sp speak facts, uh, not, you know, where my emotions are at, but when I, I call it how it is. And <clears throat> listen, he went on the interview for, I think it's Bo Box, Az Box Azteca, and basically all his fights are being televised for free in Mexico you know where he's from and Box Azteca I think had a contract with him that they were not going to charge pay-per-view events um, and honestly I don't think it would do good in Mexico for pay-per-view because there's there's not a lot of people that have just a lot of money just laying around like people in Mexico some parts of Mexico they and I'm not saying all of it I'm saying like some parts of Mexico um, they they work for for the day you know and so everything is a lot more expensive in Mexico but uh, he I think renewed one more year to have his fights televised for free so props to Canelo for that uh, but his other announcement and I think he has another interview later on today I'm going to have to check out but basically uh, there there isn't there wasn't any major announcement like he didn't announce opponent he didn't announce he just announced that he is basically keeping his may 4th date there's no opponent all he said was there's details that are being finalized to see what his his next opponent is going to be i really don't mind who his next opponent is um i don't want it to be charlo at all we already know what happened there maybe Jermall is going to put up a better fight, but it's gonna be it's gonna be the same, you know, event. You know, Charlo had has just one fight versus uh Benavides Jr. and uh that and he was Jose Benavides was a uh was a one forty seven pounder, so it's just not a good fight. And I'll explain here in in, in a second why. Um I love the Mungia fight. Either Munguia or Crawford, I don't care which one it is for May, but I definitely want to see Benavides in September. I don't care what it is. I've said it before. If he doesn't fight Benavides, it's a duck in my books. And the reason I say that is because uh, a lot of the casual fans always come up with these two excuses. What has De David, David Benavides done in his career? Um that same question could be applied to all his other opponents right number one number two is canelo doesn't need to fight him to validate his career he doesn't need him i agree with that because canelo is a hall of famer he is going to go into the hall of fame the boxing hall of fame no problem he's one of the legends right he's one of the legends he fought triple g he fought elis eris landilara when nobody wanted to fight him he's 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 good to go my problem is when he calls himself the best at 168 and the best pound for pound, you have to fight the best. Who's the best at 168? After him. Th there's no denying it is David Benavides. He's been there waiting in line, but they don't want to give him a chance. Why? There has to be a reason why, and it's because it's a dangerous fight. I still have Canelo winning that fight uh, slightly because of his experience. So it's not that I think Benavides you know, is going to 100% beat Canelo, or that's the man to dethrone Canelo, but I feel like there's something there that they see that they don't want to give him a chance. I could be wrong, and when they fight, Canelo might win, things like that. I just want them to fight. I just want the best versus the best, right? That's all I want. So I could really care less who he fights in, 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 in May. I just want to see the Benavides fight. I would love him to fight Jaime Munguia and then fight uh, Benavides. But all of this rumors about PB leaving PBC, that PBC is going bankrupt or is, is bankrupt and can't um, 
pay Canelo what, what he's asking, which is, I think, 30, 40 million per fight. I don't know any of that. I just want to see fights because at the end of the day, if those fights don't happen, we lose as fans. Us fans, we lose all of it because at the end of the day, we want to see great fights. We don't want to see a Teofimo Lopez versus Jermaine Ortiz. We don't want to see any of those fights. We want to see the best versus the best. I would rather see Teofimo versus Shakur versus Tank versus Ryan versus all. Kudos to Ryan for making the Devin Haney fight, but that's another video. But those are pretty much the announcements that Canelo made that he is still keeping pay-per-view at $0 in Mexico. He's still finalizing the opponent for, for May. We're still going to have to see who it is. The only way that you can make it official is whenever Canelo announces his next fight on his Instagram or Twitter, whatever it is, that's the only way you can make it official. Anyways, we'll wait for the news and uh, we'll make a video about it. Let me know what you guys think. We'll see you guys in the next video.